brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We're here in Williston at the Chittenden Solid Waste District Materials Recovery Facility, also known as MRF. Okay, what do you have on your truck and where is it from? Cardboard from Shelburne. What happens to the things that you put into your blue recycling bin every week? Well, all of it comes here to the MRF. It all starts here and it ends up uh, in your recycling bin. This Sunday is America Recycles Day. It's a special day when we all recognize the importance of recycling. We as a state enacted an ordinance, and locally actually in Chittenden County, that required mandatory recycling in 1993. The MRF was created and it went to all in one single stream recycling in 2003. Every day, 180 tons of cardboard, plastic, tin cans get dumped on the tipping floor, a huge avalanche. They go through an intricate series of chutes and ladders and manual sorters and and then they get compacted into these neat little bales that you see behind me and they go back out into the world they get reused recycled and have a second life it's just really fun to see how it all happens, how one soda bottle turns into another soda bottle or turns into a fleece jacket. Aluminum will be made into more aluminum cans. It could be made into a bicycle, a toy. This plastic here can be made into carpeting and things like that. That shiny plastic over there might become your new fleece jacket someday. Where are things go from your blue bin to you see them in the store again? I was pretty amazed to see all of the people picking out the recyclables. And the more you're up there, the more you're gonna get used to what is and what isn't. So you can go like a firecracker after a while. Each of us as humans leaves a footprint on the earth. We have too much waste. If we didn't recycle, we'd run out of a lot of holes in the ground. All of these recyclables shouldn't be seen as trash or waste. They're resources. In fiscal year 09, we diverted about 40% of our trash to recyclable. More money for the mission if we spend less on trash. By putting your recyclables in your blue bin, you're having an impact. And it's a small act that's done by a lot of people. It takes less energy to create a product out of recyclables than it does mining raw material. Each ton or 2,000 pounds of paper that we recycle saves 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil, three cubic yards of landfill space, 4,000 kilowatts of energy, and 7,000 gallons of water. It's a 64% energy savings over using virgin materials. When you use recyclables, you're using less energy. drive down the highway throwing dollars out the car window because that's what you're doing. For sure it's impacting the cost of energy, the cost of that soda that maybe you just threw in the garbage can. People need to understand that when they make the effort, we follow through. I think this country has a long way to go for recycling because we're so used to convenience. You know, we always try to emphasize the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, I think we could be a lot more conscious of what we buy in the first place so that we reduce the packaging that we take home and... Uh, it's silly to throw away things that we can use. Think about buying less, buy less packaging. Look for recycled products because the more you use recycled products, the more you're helping create a market. Chin 
County citizens and businesses, we are recycling about 65% of everything that we could be. So many of my recyclables can be recycled. Yeah, we're doing a pretty good job here in Vermont, and could we do better? Sure. Vermont's well on its way. I have cousins in Colorado who don't recycle at all. My in-laws who live in Missouri can't recycle anything. And my relatives laugh at me because they don't recycle at all at home. It's not a way of life for them. And when you have a choice between putting a recyclable in the garbage can or the recycling bin, we hope you make the choice for the recycling bin. Behind me stands a wall of newspapers that are neatly bailed. They're gonna go out, get recycled, and in about two weeks, you're gonna see these papers as fresh brand new papers on your newspaper rack. Nice way to recycle. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. <laughs> you don't recycle, do you? Yeah, I do. All my empty six packs of beer go back to the store so they can refill them so I can have another six pack the following week. <laughs> Whenever I have uh, labor intense jobs, I dream about them. Do you ever dream about the conveyor belt? Well, I, instead of counting sheep, I count cardboard. <laughs>